Assalamu alaikum, I'm Amani. In this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Octopus to perform single objective optimization. Uh, we know that Octopus is a multi objective optimizer, uh, but it could be used uh, to perform single objective optimization through imposing diversity as a second objective. And in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to use a very simple configuration just uh, for uh, boxes attached uh, together. And um, uh, the purpose uh, is to minimize the volume of the boxes. And so we'll get like thousands of configurations ordered from the smallest volume to the highest one. Okay, uh, first I'm going to use a very simple way to uh, model uh, the boxes. I'm going to um, select or um, have uh, the box uh, component in Grasshopper and uh, then uh, draw the boxes in uh, Rhinoceros. And in this case, I'm going to have a very simple um, uh, box with a size um, uh, 5 meters by 5 by 5. Uh, second, I'm going to use the scale component and I'm going to choose the scale NU uh, because this component allows me to manipulate uh, the different coordinates of uh, the box. Uh, and uh, using the point is very important because if you didn't use uh, the point in the center, uh, you will have uh, the box in a different uh, position and here we need to keep the box in the same position and just extend its uh, dimensions to the outside. This scale component multiplies the size of the object by the number in the slider uh, and so I choose to have uh, 0 0.5 uh, to 2 when I thought it's uh, suitable. Uh, this is a changeable, you can change it according to your preference. I will start to uh, preview off all the old components because I will use uh, the newest ones, the last connected ones. Then I'm going to use the volume component to measure uh, the volume of the boxes. I'm going to hook up all the geometry of the four boxes into uh, the uh, geometry of the volume component. Hold the shift to, in order to connect more than one output into just one input. As you see, the volume component gives you the volume of each box on its own. In order to get the total volume, you will use the mass addition component. Uh, we will use then a number a component um, uh, and connect it to the objective or the O in uh, the octopus and the G uh, will be connected to or the genes will be connected to the number sliders, all the number sliders. It's worth mentioning that Octopus minimizes the, the objective function only. So if you want to maximize uh, something, you have to multiply it by negative one.
Okay, after finishing, I'm going to uh, double click on the component uh, Octopus and uh, then uh, a window will open. And this window I'm going to check on diversity as a second objective. And then I'm going to click start to start the optimization. As you can see, the red and green boxes indicate the different cases uh, with different volumes and uh, the stop and pause uh, button allows you to um, stop uh, or pause your uh, optimization. And if you uh, close the, the window of uh, uh, Octopus and save your Grasshopper file and close the whole Rhino and Grasshopper, you will be able to complete your optimization in another time and increase the number of generations. Uh, this is a good thing about Octopus, you do not lose your data. Now I have unchecked all to keep only the Pareto front. And then uh, you will see how you can manage uh, the results that you have. You'll start by uh, seeing the, the, Rhino, the Rhino window. And um, I'm going to select different cases and click... Uh, for each case, you can click on it and uh, click reinstate solution so that you could see uh, this solution in Rhinoceros. And now go to export and select all and objectives. You will get all the results. Uh, of the simulation or the optimization, you will find that each generation is included from the first generation to the last one, and uh, all the results in each uh, generation is uh, presented in front of you. Uh, you can take these results to an Excel sheet and start manipulating them. As you can see, uh, uh, the first uh, number uh, of the results, the first number is the volume and the second number uh, is uh, the diversity, the negative number. As you can see now, uh, we will close the Octopus interface uh, and we will reopen it again uh, from Grasshopper. Uh, and you will see, double click, you will see that all the data is included. You, you, you will not lose any data. And then save your file to use it later, under the video you will find a link from where you can download the Octopus. I hope this video was simple for you, uh, for beginners, and uh, wait for much advanced tutorials about the optimization and uh, the multi-objective optimization, inshallah. Thank you so much.